um, cat weasel, so I might be called with this hair. Um, although the barber's open tomorrow, so I'm hoping I can get a haircut in the week. Um, just out on the local village pond. Um, this is a bit of a sequel to last week's video, although that was you saw it last week. I'm, I did this, did it yesterday. Fly fishing here, and I got some cracking little roach and rud. And then um, you probably saw at the end I had a go with the um, the mini trout magnet and got that really nice rud on that. So I'm back out today to do a full video on the trout magnet. Um, they were kindly donated to me by um, Mel, who, who I dedicated the last video to. So I'll dedicate this video to you as well because you, you you know you've got me out of a real jam and um, and provided me with some tackle and. You know, Mel's not from a company or anything like that. He's just uh, an enthusiastic support of the channel and um, has sent me some bits to that he wants to see me do a video on. So thank you very much, Mel. I'm more than happy to to do your request and um, and hopefully we can get a few fish because um, that I haven't caught a lure. Well, yesterday's little lure caught rud at the end was the la the last thing. I'll show you the footage of that now. Um, and I didn't manage to get it on the GoPro because I'd packed up film and I just had a few casts with a trout magnet to give it a go. Well guys, um, so this 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 is just after the fly fishing session. I couldn't resist. I, I run out of, I'm not filming anything. I just thought, I just to give it a go. And a couple of casts and wallop. Um, what a cracking rud on a, on a lure. First course fish I've ever caught that's not a predator or predatory fish on a lure targeting them. I, had, I hooked a bream once and I had a roach drop shot him once. But this is just absolutely fantastic. I'm chuffed to bits with this. This is brilliant. So yeah, that was the first lure caught fish I'd had in ages, even though a tiny little micro lure, very maggoty like. Um, I'll talk, talk you through the setup now that I'm using and show you that because I think it's important, um, especially this because I'm not fully conversant with the with the, the way this fishes and works. So um, it's going to be a learning curve for me and hopefully you guys as well. And I'm sure some of you guys have used these trout magnet stuff. And um, it's not, you know, obviously they don't sponsor or anything. There are loads of micro jigs and soft plastic isn't that out there. So um, have a look. Um, and, and yeah, let me know what you like and, and how you fish it as well. Right, that's the uh, that's the kit. It's the mini magnet I'm using today. I might I've got some other ones as well with me. Um, the, the normal size, which are about twice the size of this. They say these are one two hundredth of an ounce. I've no idea what that is in grams. And the tiny little the ones I've got that Mel sent me are the gold um, gold jig heads. You can see there, loads of coloured um, little grubs. And they also come interesting for lure fishing. They come with a little float. Um, and it's like a little foam float and, and the way they're fished on the trout magnet recommend or at least on the YouTube videos I've seen is you, you fish fish the float and you sort of twitch it and you use a float for bite indication and also I think a bit of casting weight but I've you could the, the float can slot on like a slotted float held in place with a peg through the middle but the pegs hollow and got a hole through it so I've used a float stop at the top and an AA at the triple A at the bottom just to add a bit of casting weight there um, and I'm gonna have a first go I'm going to start at 18 inches deep because I, I, I know there are rudded, loads of rud in this pond. They're obviously surface feeders. I can see a few flipping about. And I'm going to start with a white one and uh, we'll see how we get on. But yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's kind of float fishing and lure fishing. If you've not seen these, have a look. at There's some great videos on YouTube for trout magnet stuff. And I bet you could adapt other micro lures to fish the same way if you don't want to spend out for the trout magnet stuff because it's not that cheap. I think one pack of these, like these 85 piece packs, they're about 20 quid on Amazon. So... Um, although you do get a lot, you know, if you were buying um, any branded soft plastic, it's on the par with that sort of cost. Got one, guys. Lovely little rud there, just on the reeds around the edge. Unfortunately, um, I'm having a bit of technical difficulties with the GoPro, so I didn't I mean, get it on camera as usual. And um, that was probably about two foot deep. And I just, I've been all, trying all different retrieves, and that was just, um, um, just, just kind of like a constant retrieve with a little jiggle, just just bouncing it through the through the edge of the reeds there, trying to avoid the snags. But yeah, brilliant! It's so much fun catching fish on a lure. I love it. I'll try and get some GoPro footage when I can get it sorted out. And another one there, guys. Absolutely brilliant. Again, just 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 a constant retrieve through the um, through the edge of the reeds. Absolutely fantastic fun. Brilliant little fish. And on this on the pink one, as you can see. Fish on! Look at that guys, absolutely clonking roach in the sunshine, just with a little black uh, black split tail there, absolutely brilliant. This is great fun catching coarse fish with lures and I'm glad I got it on the GoPro.
there it goes. That was just a, um, that was on the black black one. Uh, that that hit it a couple of times. They're, they're as aggressive as perch. Absolutely fantastic. Really, really enjoying this. It's brilliant fun. Hee. <laughs> smallest one of the day there guys very optimistic there uh, it's, it's about as long as his head that little lure but fantastic fun they keep nipping and it. it's brilliant can you see that guys there's a frog heading towards my flow i don't know if it's i don't know if it i don't know i think frogs don't eat when they're in the water do they? they eat on dry land is it just being curious oh Smallest fish of the day, guys, just on a little red split tail there, the little red trout magnet. And uh, they're, they're just, I stopped looking at the float, and that was just when I looked down there to see that little toad. I don't know if that came out, he's just do dove under. I don't know if that came out, he, he, he sort of swam right across the lake almost, or the pond. There you go guys, cracking little rud there, that was just on the white one. I'm going through the colours slowly but surely and they all seem to be catching apart from the orange one so far. So yeah, brilliant fun. Daddy, little roach there guys, <laughs> absolutely mullered that little lure. I can't believe they fit it in their mouth, it's amazing. Well, they're definitely getting smaller guys that one's absolutely minute and that has come on the black one again Oh, lovely. There you go, guys. Look at that. Absolutely stunning roach there. That was just on the little black split tail. Brilliant fish. Best fish I've had out of this pond. Fantastic. Well chuffed with that. Right, guys. Just took you through the rod I'm using because um, I always forget this sort of thing and sort of the reasons behind it. It's uh, a very budget rod. It's a 20 pound from Decathlon. It's a uh, 2 to 10 gram, 5.5 foot lure, telescopic lure fishing rod. It was not, yeah, 1999. It's called a Wixom 5. You can get them online. Um, it's paired with a Shimano AX2500, and that was 13 quid from Amazon. But I got that a couple of years ago, and I don't know whether you can still get them. Um, obviously, they're budget, they're cheap, but they, they're doing the job. I can't complain. Um, and the telescopic nature means I can just chuck it strapped to the side of my backpack, be off and away on my bike and it's great and I've used it for float fishing in the small streams at, um, on the Darren and that and also obviously all my lure fishing pretty much now is done with this. Um, you'll know I'm not using braid, this is just a, this is a very light line for lure fishing. I, this is, this is, I wouldn't normally use this for anything other than these tiny little things. This is a four pound mono. Um, and the reason behind it is I knew that these were tiny little jigs and so they're gonna they're gonna not have much casting weight so i wanted it to be as free flowing and light as possible to get the maximum casting distance and i also wanted to make sure um that it was nice and invisible because tiny little 
jig like that, even like the knot or whatever, is going to be um, is going to be in comparison to it potentially visible. Um, and I just sort of just while I'm sitting there, I'm thinking, what, you know, what colour's done the best? It's probably the black one has done the best today. And I think because um, we've seen that little toad earlier, and there's a, there was a lot of frog spawn in the margins um, when I was here a couple of weeks ago, and that's all disappeared. So I guess it's hatched, and so the water's probably got quite a lot of tadpoles in. And I mean that little black thing there isn't dissimilar from a tadpole I suppose um, and I think that's probably why it's doing well um, I'm gonna have a few more casts I think and then I might call it a day um, and it just as I'm saying that it does look like it's just starting to rain as well um, so I think I'm putting waterproof trousers on before I finish my cup of tea well guys I don't know if you can see that but it's <laughs> it's actually it's now a blizzard uh, <laughs> you gotta love this country don't you one minute's blazing sunshine 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 I was roasting hot um, and now the temperatures have suddenly like dropped this big sort of grey cloud loomed over I thought oh, it's gonna be a downpour but no it's uh it's snow or it's well sleety sleety stuff I suppose some, some of the flakes are quite you can see them can't really see them but they're quite you know big oh there you go on my hat um, yeah so I think I'm probably gonna probably gonna give it a little while longer someone come and chucked a load of bread in for the ducks and it was just getting absolutely mullered by you know reasonable sized roach so um of course as soon as you know as soon as you put your head over the top of the swim they've they've disappeared and i don't think they're going to like all this snow falling on the water but anyway um still having fun at the moment Oh. Well, there you go, guys. Tiny little ropes. Just as the uh, as the snow is absolutely belting down now, um, it's like sleety, snowy stuff. <laughs> Classic. Well, what a session that turned out to be, guys. Um, excuse the the funny exposure behind me there that's just the normal window but it's actually not that bright out today but I don't know I've even got a light shining in my face to try and compensate but it's not working but I haven't got many places I can film inside just because there's pe uh, other people in the house and they you know wandering about and don't want to be in my videos and I don't suppose you want to see them um yeah I mean I don't know if the sort of technique I was using there came across but I mean I've never used a lure with a float before and I mean, less is more. It was almost like a drop shot in action where I had the rod tip high and were just kind of tapping it and, and vibrating it with a t with a very, very slow retrieve. Um, sometimes speeding it up and slowing it down. But it took me a while to kind of get bites. Um, but once I, I kind of got, the, got it moving how I liked it and how the fish liked it, then I got, obviously you saw, I got quite a few bites. And some of the fish were nice. And they were really aggressive, really aggressive little bites. So... Um, yeah, really great fun. Um, I think uh, those. That, I mean, obviously the trout magnets. They're not. Um, they're not that cheap. The set. So what I'm going to try and do is have a look at sort of like budget angle alternatives. But what I'm struggling to get is those jig heads at 0.15 grams. I've subsequently found and size 14. And I'm trying to find anything comparable because um, I think you really want something that barely sinks, like a, like a maggot wood or a, or an insect larvae, which I guess is what they're mimicking. Perhaps a tadpole for the black one, but obviously they're not going to sink. They're swim, they're swimming. So um, yeah, that that'll be the challenge. But I think that'll make make a good challenge. To try and get a sort of budget angler version of a micro jig, um, fished under a float as well. And I've got my own. I showed you this in the fly fishing video as well. I've got my own little um, equivalent float, which is just a little piece of balsa with a, uh, a kebab skewer through it, whipped and painted. So it's got an eye on the bottom. You could just fish this with two rubbers if you wanted a quick change um yeah so great fun really really good fun um it's really nice to get out lure fishing i hope you guys have enjoyed it as much as i enjoyed making it and it's been sort of useful for you and a good opportunity to see what else you can catch with lures because they're not you know roach and mud are not the most commonly caught fish on lures in this country um i wouldn't have thought so yeah um if you've enjoyed this video or you um you know 
or not, even as the case may be, uh, please give it a share. Um, you know, share it on Facebook and, and sort of ask people to comment or like or whatever. Um, yeah, I, I normally my call to actions is like and subscribe, but I'm going to try asking people to share for a change. So if you're members of Facebook groups for lure fishing, micro lure fishing, stuff like that, then please give my videos a share and um, get get other members of the community engaging with the channel. That'd be great. I'd be much obliged. Um, so thanks, thanks very much, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, guys. Fish on. Thank <laughs> you.